Hello, I'm Mina. Welcome back to my channel. I'm so grateful to have you here. If you're here, it means you're looking for new vocabularies, expressions, and idioms. I have some useful and common vocabularies for you. I can't wait to start, so smash the like button, subscribe to my channel to dive in. Let me tell you something about my last job interview. What's going on? I had butterflies in my stomach before the meeting. To have butterflies in your stomach means to be nervous. Yeah, I was nervous. Trying to be composed, I called my friend right away. Just be a friend, okay? Be supportive. Compose is an adjective and it means to be calm, to have your feelings under control. She told me, keep your chin up, pull yourself together, you can do it. To keep your chin up. It means to be brave and hopeful during difficult times. To pull yourself together means to recover control of your emotions and regain your self-control. Oh, yeah. Yeah, her words really improved my confidence. Now I felt much better. I didn't want to miss that boat. To miss the boat. To miss the boat means to miss an opportunity. Here, the opportunity of getting the job. You may ask why? Why was getting that job so important? Simply because I had a long downtime. Hopefully, I had saved some bucks before leaving my previous job. Uh, oh. The noun downtime refers to the duration of time between jobs. When you're inactive, you're not working, so you don't earn any money. And the word box refers to dollars. Oh, that means. So I got the ball rolling. I stepped into the meeting room and the team greeted me warmly. To get the ball rolling means to roll the ball. No, no. It means to start. And to greet means to say hello and welcome. I started with introducing myself. It's very nice to meet you. What's your name? Uh, my name? Um, uh, uh. <laughs> Marie. So far, so good. It means everything has gone well until now. <laughs> Time for interviewers' questions. I got five questions about my experience and qualifications in a row. Qualification is a noun and it means a quality or a accomplishment that makes a person perfect for a job. Five questions in a row. It means without a stopping, without break, one after the other, like three days in a row, Saturday, Sunday and Monday. Three days right after each other. Now, my turn to ask questions about the position. Uh, it was a normal 9 to 5 job. I also figured out that I had to work on the weekend once in a blue moon. Oh. Hmm. A 9 to 5 job. It means you start work at 9 a.m. and finish at 5 p.m. Um, a full-time and a stable job. You can also say it if your job is a boring one. To do something once in a blue moon. It means to do it rarely. I work on the weekend once in a blue moon. I rarely work on the weekend. And finally, we talked about money. <laughs> I cut to the chase and said how much I expected to receive. To cut to the chase means to be direct and get to the point. And finally, they thanked me and said that they would contact me. 
it's always part of the game. Well, yeah, actually. It's part of the game means that's how it works. After the meeting, I called my friend, telling her everything went well. Her reaction was, how so? It means to tell me more, to explain more. So I explained everything. She really believes in me, sometimes even more than myself. She said, they'll definitely contact you. Mark my word. Mark my word. It means listen to me. Remember what I'm saying. I'll be proven later. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> I love my friend. After about a week, I got a phone call. And guess what? I got the job. <laughs> guess what? Say this when you want to say something interesting or surprising to your listener and you want to attract attention. <laughs> it's about a year now that I'm burning the midnight oil and having a day-to-day -day life. Frankly, I like to lay low. I prefer spending my weekends in my cozy home with a cup of coffee. Too many new expressions, yeah? Let's take a look at them all. To burn the midnight oil, it means to work long hours, normally late into the night. A day-to-day -day life, an ordinary and routine life. I prefer to lay low, it means I don't have a crazy life, I don't want to be in the center of attention. And the final two words, frankly and cozy. Frankly is an adverb and it means honestly. Cozy is an adjective and it means comfortable. A little bird told me that I'm gonna get a raise, which is quite outlandish at this time of the year. A little bird told me means I heard it from a secret source and I don't want to mention from who. The adjective outlandish means unusual, strange. <laughs> I'm gonna get a raise. Wow. I'm literally over the moon. I mean, who doesn't like some extra bucks? <laughs> To be over the moon, it means to be very happy. Honestly, the story was all fictional. I just made it up to teach you some new expressions and idioms. Oh my God! Yeah, I do believe such stories can help you learn new words faster. Make examples with any of the new words you learned in this lesson. Comment them below. Keep practicing English. If you have difficulties learning new vocabularies, I suggest watching this video. I'll be back soon. See you later.